Today, we are meeting French artist Mary Chaplin. Her studio is located in a small hamlet called Wai, set in beautiful countryside, south of Amiens, in the Somme, in the north of France. In this video, Mary explains her work, a series of paintings she calls Oxymorons, work that shows how shadows absorb surrounding colors. A series based on her research into light and shadow through reflections and light shining through stained glass windows, studied in churches and cathedrals over many years. Alors, ce petit bout de chiffon n'a de rien du tout, hein, qui est plein d'histoire. Her more recent works integrate lines found on old mattress canvas, the worn, sometimes torn material used to express and explore her feelings in relationship with her father, who is bedridden, suffering from senile dementia. Et puis j'ai toujours bien aimé euh, cette ligne. Et puis cette ligne, euh, la vie m'a montré. She sees the link between the lines of the canvas and bars of a prison cell. The patient is confined, imprisoned, perhaps never to escape. Mais ils peuvent pas forcément sortir. Donc. The artist explains how the bed you are born on, lay on, had childhood dreams on, a place of pleasing memories and aspirations. A refuge from suffering can transform into a jail with no way of release. Cette histoire a commencé dans l'église Saint Sépulcre d'Abbeville. Mary Chaplin shows us how these geometric lines in her work originated from her observations of light shining through stained glass windows, the light creating shadows, color, and three-dimensional images. Here we can see the beautiful church Saint Sepulchre in Abbeville. She realized that the shadows were not black but absorbed the surrounding colors. This was the beginning of the series Oxymoron. Here she shows us several examples of this series. At the beginning, Mary Chaplin had a figurative vision of what she saw, capturing the images or reflections of light through the stained glass windows, noticing the architecture, the perspective, the depth of the shadows. Lately, her work has moved towards abstraction. The black lines have become a way of expressing the way she sees Alzheimer's disease in a graphic way. She considers memories to be as shelves on a bookcase, sometimes linked together by stories and themes. But because of the illness, some of the shelves have become disappeared, faded, broken. Sometimes new imaginary bridges are created through the patient's confusion. Mary Chaplin explains that there is always one linking theme running throughout her work, light. The main quest in her work always has been a study of light and its effects. She shows us that even when things are bleak, seemingly hopeless, there is always a glimmer of light. The bleaker things are, the more important that this shard of light becomes. Above all, for her work to be coherent, a sense of balance is important. The artist explains how she constructs balance within an imbalance. Balance between the black lines of the mattress, the lines of memory, past images and light. She shows us the many different techniques she uses. Collage, oil paint, acrylic paint, charcoal, 
different types of support, paper, card or canvas. The series, A Shadow of Oneself, expresses the idea of solitude. The lines as the graphic support for the painting symbolize the prison where the patient finds himself. But also, perhaps more optimistically, a place of dreams where the patient's soul can find a sort of liberation. Alzheimer's disease transforms people into different beings. Though, Mary is convinced that in this new world that the patient finds himself, there can also be moments of fleeting happiness. Sometimes she sees a little smile on her father's face and she believes that in spite of all that is happening to him, he can have these brief moments of happiness, maybe coming from a resurfacing of happy memories or awareness. Mary's father used to compose music and play the accordion. In this painting, Mary shows us, in the dark forms, the movement of the instrument being played. The horizontal lines represent a music sheet, but the notes have disappeared. The painting is called The Lost Aria. Un petit peu comme une, une clé, euh, une écriture de musicale. J'ai appris aussi de temps en temps. Euh, Here she demonstrates how she uses charcoal sketches to seek new forms, shapes, and ideas. Sometimes, whilst painting, an accident, a drip or a splash, can give inspiration or lead to new creations using new gestures, movement, or life. To create is to be alive. Wherever the inspiration comes from, it is always positive. To conclude, if ever you are in the vicinity of Wai, Mary Chaplin warmly invites you to visit her in her studio. You will be very welcome. Finally, big thanks to John Mark Denecker for the production of this video. Thanks also to the Conseil Régional of the Eau de France for supporting Mary's project Oxymorons. And a very big thank you to Dingle Yandel and The Inventions for giving Mary the right to use their music which is Purcell's The Cold Song from King Arthur. This video is dedicated to Lionel Delattre and all the others who are without being.